2015, the year of optimism. We've had 2014 record issuances in the European leverage and high yield market. New lenders, new debt terms, convergence of terms between Europe and the States. Everybody was expecting 2015 really to build upon that. For the first six months of the year, it did so really. Deal sizes held up, deals got done, issues got away. We then hit the second half of the year, and frankly, the second half of the year really was somewhat disappointing. Now, why was that? Part of it, macroeconomic conditions. Concerns about the UK economy, concerns about the UK election, concerns about the European economy, political concerns, terrorist attacks in Paris, none of that helped really market sentiment. And also, in part, it was due to the success of 2014. Many companies and issuers had taken advantage of the great terms that were available in 2014 to refinance on an opportunistic way, which meant they didn't need to raise finance in 2015 and certainly weren't inclined or induced to do so on the terms that were available in the second half of the year. I'm optimistic about 2016. I think the you know the volatility in its it, on its own it was also around in 2014, and that was a robust market. So that's not going to be things that's, that, that 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 slow the markets down. We think things will pick up. We think there's alternative capital providers out there who have a, a lot of money to invest in, and maybe doing transactions in new and different ways than have been traditionally done. But there will be investing, and there'll, there'll be there'll be financings done. We think if you consider the international markets from all the different perspectives, from the leverage finance perspective, from the private equity perspective from the restructurings that will continue to go on, you know, emerging markets where there are also some additional interesting trends where Eurobond and high yield markets are converging, and also these are alternative capital providers who are going to be in there looking at these transactions and how they can, you know, how, how they how they can be involved. There's lots of different ways the market is going to be taken off. And, and I think the challenge for for people in the market and, and advisors in the market is to be able to innovate as as these as these trends occur and, con and continue.